Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sian Burkett B, and it's Friday. You know what that means, or at least at one point you might have known what it means, but um, it's time for Fairfield Friday. Uh, yes, it's back. Don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. Uh, it's a hot corner box. I haven't done one of these in a, quite a while. I took a break from them. I This is the 31st one I have. Uh, so I opened up 30 prior to this on for Fairfield Fridays, a.k.a. Mystery Fridays. Um, so if you missed any of those, go check them out. Um, some of them have some really good stuff in them at that point. And even now, it'd be even better because it's given years later. Um, who knows? Uh, but head on down, hit that subscribe button while you're at it, and the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Um, head on to the comments and tell me, when's the last time you even saw one of these? When's the last time you opened one of these? If you have. Um, are, have you pulled something amazing out of them? Hopefully you did. Um, and then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media as well, and eBay, where I have a bunch of stuff up for sale. You can go check those out and maybe buy some stuff if you feel... So inclined. Um, yeah, so I had a whole bunch of these that I bought up. And then they went they went away and you couldn't find them anymore. Um, and I opened a lot of them. But then I kind of was like, all right, let's take a break from opening these. And I kind of put them away for a while. It's like, I'll save these for some other time. Well, it's time to open. It's time to get back and open some of these. Um, so, yeah, these are hot box, hot corner boxes. If you don't know what that is, um, they're repack boxes from Fairfield. That's why it's Fairfield Friday. Uh, you get one hobby pack, two hits, um, and four total card packs. So typically a hobby pack from what I remember is a 2013 pinnacle. Not always, but a lot of times the hits, usually it's one autograph and one relic, but sometimes it's two autographs. And then the other packs are the wild cards. Cause I've pulled some crazy good packs out of this like 2019 series two i was pulling those out of out of these all the time now series one a lot too which that's fine but series two is what we're really looking for i've pulled like 2019 tops chrome update out of this like some crazy stuff um so let's see what we get i'll try to hide the the uh the hits we'll save those um but sometimes they just come flying out and i don't or i don't know where they are um, nope, that's, that's, uh, I think I did it. I think I did it. All right, so what do we got? So there you go, 2019 Series 1. So not, not exactly what we were looking for. Uh, we got Big League from 2019 again. Nah, I mean, there are some, there's an opportunity there, uh, for some rookies. Uh, so the big rookies, I think they're all, like, short prints or though, or something. I, I can't remember exactly. Um, uh, then we got the Pinnacle, like I said. And then we're finishing up with some Allen and Ginter from 2017. Wow. I don't think I've ever opened any 2017 Allen and Ginter, but... All right. Interesting stuff there. So I guess we'll go... Mm. Yeah, we'll go in chronological order. Why not? 2013 Pinnacle. Actually not terrible. It's got some decent rookies potentially in this in this set. Um, I mean, it's Pinnacle, it's Panini, it doesn't have the, the, uh, you know, logos and stuff, but there, 2013 was a pretty good year for some rookies. Uh, Bo Jackson kicking things off. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he was a big star. Everyone loved Bo. Uh, Justin Upton, Jared Parker, David Price. We got a Justin L Verlander Pinnacle, what he's called, Pinnacle of Success or something like that, Par Acetate Parallel or insert, whatever it is, P Pedro Alvarez, Matt Holliday, and Mike Alt, Alt, rookie card. So we didn't get any of the big rookies out of there, but okay. Now moving on to 2017 Tops Allen and Ginter. Can't say I've ever opened Allen and Ginter. I mean, obviously Aaron Judge, as I almost drop it on the floor, Aaron Judge is the big rookie from 2017, right? Or Cody Bellinger too, I suppose. Um... Got Herrera, Abdul Herrera, uh, George, Crazy George, of course, Crazy George, um, Giolito, uh, Lucas Giolito, I'm just blanking on his first name. We got a uh, facsimile machine, cool. Our um, mini is a Bosnian pony, Bosnian pony. And then we got Ali LaForce. So. Nothing, 
all that spectacular out of that pack, but hey. It's Alan Ginter for you. All right, moving on, we got uh, 2019 Series 1. So, I mean, you know, there are some decent rookies in Series 1. I mean, obviously, Series 2 has got the big, big names. And starting off with Mike Trout, that's never, never a bad thing. Uh, Jason Kipnis, then we got Dennis Santana, uh, Adolis Garcia, Chicago White Sox, the the um, Pittsburgh Pirates, Ted Williams, Grapefruit League Greats, uh, Sweet Life, Max and Cody celebrate, uh, Nolan Arenado, uh, Jesus Aguilar, uh, Blake Snell, Clayton Kershaw, those snow down, I guess, as well. Richard Urania and Kenley Jansen round things out there. So, didn't get any of the big rookies or anything like that, but we got some stars. All right, before we move on to the big league, where hopefully we can get, uh, you know, some of the, one of the big, big rookies from 2019. Let's see what we got for our hits. We got a Pat Light. Pat Light autograph. Um, Truth be told, I think I've pulled a Pat Light autograph out of one of these before. And interestingly enough, Pat Light, if you're watching Pat, uh, thank you for watching. Um, he's like some of my pictures on Instagram. And I'm assuming it's the same Pat Light. Seems to be. Uh, but Pat Light. Um, there you go. Pat Light. If you're watching Pat, thank you for checking it out. Uh, thank you for liking the... Uh, the videos and, and or the Instagram post. Um, and then we got uh, AJ, uh, AJ Pollock, uh, Pollock, uh, tier one, 2016 tier one baseball relic, bat relic out of 299. So not bad, not bad. Some cool stuff. I mean, nothing crazy, but you know, I can't, don't typically expect. I mean, these guys I've heard of, a lot of times it's people I've never heard of. Um, all right, moving on to this 2019 big league. We're looking for, hopefully, one of those big rookies uh, from 2019. If I can open the pack, that'd be nice. Got Max Scherzer kicking things off. Max Kepler, so it's a Max pack. So far, Edwin Diaz, Elvis, um, Elvis Andrews. Wall Climbers, Cody, Corey Dickinson. Michael Franco is our gold. Gold card. Then we got uh, Lanius Martin, Sean Doolittle, uh, Mookie Betts, uh, Francisco Lindor, J.D. Martinez, Stat Kings, and Kyle Seeger, who uh, recently retired. Um, kind of out of nowhere. As his brother... Signed a huge deal with Texas. Is this brother Corey's brother? Or are they are they related? I don't even know. I was, you know, sometimes you just assume guys are related, and then it's like, oh, wait a minute. No, these guys are no relation. But um, um I feel like they are, but they might maybe they're cousins. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna look it up real quick because I don't even know. Are Kyle and Corey Seeger brothers. Yes. And there's also Justin Seeger, which I don't really remember. Corey is the youngest of the three Seeger brothers, four years younger than Justin and six years younger than Kyle. Um, so there you go. They are brothers. I thought they were brothers, but you know, you never know. Like sometimes you just assume guys are brothers and it's like, wait a minute, they're not related? Or well, they're cousins or something like that. But yeah, I, just, I thought they were brothers. But anyways, enough of me babbling. That's going to do it for today. We didn't pull anything crazy good out of the hot corner box. Uh, we didn't get any of the the amazing packs that, you know, sometimes you can pull out of these things. But um, we got some decent stuff. Um, I mean, autograph relic, but you're kind of guaranteed that. But uh, yeah, uh, that's going to do it. But it's, it's fun. Always fun to open those. At least we didn't get an 88 Donruss on that, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, always fun to open those boxes, and I got some more coming up uh, in the future. So stay tuned. Oh, excuse me. Uh, stay tuned and come back every Friday for free, uh, for well for Mystery Friday. Sometimes Fairfield Friday, but there's also Free Friday. Friday it's coming out a little bit later on today. So uh, if you hit that notification 
if you hit the subscribe and then hit the notification, then you'll know when the videos drop and then you can come and watch them and like them and share them and comment on them and all that fun stuff because I have videos dropping every day and sometimes multiple a day. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun, enjoy your weekend, and talk to you next time. Come back later for Free For All Friday.